So if you missed the Power Slave stream this morning revealing the new operators and all the details, then uh, I got you covered. So let's hop right in. We're going to start off with Clash. I'll leave timestamps in description in case you want to jump between any of the two operators. So yeah, starting with Clash, she is a 1 speed 3 armor operator. Her primary weapon is obviously going to be the shield, but her secondary, she's going to have uh, one pistol and her second secondary is actually going to be a burst fire SMG and both the pistol and the SMG can have weapon sights equipped um, Her gadgets she, she's gonna have impacts as well as barbed wire now when it comes to the shield um, When she fully deploys it kind of like Montaigne she can't use her sidearms um, But she actually can stun with the shield which everyone knows so once you start to stun people, it will actually slow them down and they'll start to take damage. But when it comes to the actual recharging of the shield, if you use it and it, let's say it stops halfway, then the bar is going to refill and you can continue using it. But if you fully drain the battery of the shield, then you can't use it again until it's fully recharged. And when it comes to her counters, Thatcher can obviously disable the shield. Um, capitals, asphyxiating bolts, even when her shield is deployed, will still deal her damage. Uh, Zofia, her concussion mines can also stop her from deploying the shield and she cannot melee you. Unlike Montaigne and Blitz, uh, they can melee you with their shields, she can't do that. And lastly, if you melee her then it's gonna like uh, initiate a guard break and it's gonna throw her off balance but unlike uh, Montaigne and Blitz, you know, their whole body won't be exposed, it's just gonna expose her legs a little bit but um, the good thing is even when the shield is deployed like Montaigne, you can still melee her and it's going to throw her off a little bit so you can shoot her legs. And yeah, that's that's about it for Clash. Next up we have Maverick. Uh, Maverick is going to be a 3 speed 1 armor operator for his loadout. He's going to have 1 DMR, an AR-15 but it only has 10 bullets and the M4 assault rifle. And he has 1 secondary, the 1911 TAC Ops. When it comes to his gadgets, he has smokes and one claymore. And when it comes to counters, as I predicted, he does not have any direct counters. The only way to stop him is to basically kill him. Um, they suggested C4, but he does not make holes big enough that C4 can fit through. So, yeah, the only way to counter him is to, you know, kill him. Uh, I guess I could elaborate a little bit more on his gadget. This is a blowtorch. Um, it has a very small amount of ammo and it is freehand so I was wrong there's no like predetermined line setup for you you actually have to do this freehand and um, yeah that's about it it's just freehand blowtorch that can cut through castle walls uh, regular walls doors um, reinforced and yeah any type of metal service you can just cut through so yeah that's that's about it he is our third heart breacher and lastly, the test server actually goes up tomorrow, August the 20th, that's Monday, uh, instead of Tuesday. So we can actually hop into this tomorrow. So yeah, you can go and preload the test server. So that's going to be it for this short uh, video detailing uh, the new operators, their loadouts and their gadgets. So yeah, if you found this helpful, you can leave a like and share it around and comment down below what are your thoughts on the new operators. Do you like them? Um, me personally, I'm... No, not not really a fan of, of them, but um, yeah, subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content. I should be bringing out more videos from the TTS this week, so make sure you subscribe and stick around for that, and press the bell so you get notifications when a video goes live. But that's it for this video, so thanks for watching.